you all welcome back to my channel hashtag promo life so today i decided to do something different i'm going to create my first ever get ready with me i'll put some makeup on and since it's my first time doing something like this i have a little bit of nerves going so to get rid of those nerves i'm going to open up this bottle of wine now this is cask and barrels Cabernet Sauvignon from Lodi, California. It's been aged in bourbon barrels. I've never had it before, uh, but it's also been aged in American oak barrels. So it's supposed to have robust flavor, a uh, ruby red color, and a velvety finish. Uh, the types of barrels it was aged in were Kentucky bourbon barrels for three months. And it says that it explodes with a devilish flavor of vanilla. <laughs> caramel and of course classic american oak okay y'all so now i got the fresh face actually what i love to wash my face with is this desert essence it's super concentrated i buy like one of these i kid you not maybe like once every two years it really lasts that long um when i wash my face i like to use one of these so i got this from the dollar store it's really soft silicone so it gives me like a light exfoliation uh, without being too harsh on my skin if i need a little bit more exfoliation instead of using an exfoliant i also have these rags now here's a little hack I got this from a dollar store. It's actually a dish rag. Don't judge me. But I use the rougher side to help exfoliate, especially my lips whenever I'm putting on anything matte. And the other side is nice and soft on my skin. I am now going to get the last bit of um, makeup that I have on my eyebrows from me doing my eyebrows earlier. I'm using this stuff. I, you know, wash my face, cleanse my face, I exfoliated, I uh, put on a mask, I did a clay mask, and, you know, did a lot of moisturizing, steamed my skin, opened up my pores, did some deep pore cleaning, um, I also detoxed my armpits, and I also... <laughs> TMI, but I detoxed another private area. Um, I detoxed my butt, y'all. Sounds weird, but not by pooping or anything. I actually used the clay, um, the clay, clay mask also on my rear end. Sometimes I have skin sensitivity. My skin gets a little irritated. I've been actually using this great wash, facial wash on my butt <laughs> and doing clay mask every so often. Um, and it seems to keep uh, the breakouts from happening. So yeah, that was TMI, but hey, there's somebody else out there that's going through the struggle like me. Um, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of toner. This is Envelope. In the blue, in the low. I don't know. And it has like peppermint in it and argan stem cells. It works. Like you can feel the tingle, but it's not too hot. I don't like to use this like right after exfoliating because my skin tends to be a little bit sensitive right after exfoliating. It's so refreshing. It smells amazing. And it gives a slight tingle. Oh, it smells so clean. Oh, that feels so good. And now I'm going to moisturize a little bit. And I got this stuff from Whole Foods. So it's Camisel, big company. Um, but this one actually has hemp stem cells in it as well. And I love how well this absorbs into my skin. However, I am also going to use some of my face oil. It's a oil. I put like a drop or two in here. I think the rosehip oil also help with my scarring. Back to these brows. Got a little patchy patch going on, but it's okay, it'll grow back. I'm using Milani's Stay Put Brow Color in the color four. Yeah, I might be using it. And come back, come back to y'all in just a moment. So now that I have my eyebrows pretty much on, um, I'm going to use some concealer if I made them. It's number 15, a light. So yeah, that's the concealer I'm using. I'm just gonna get to clean up my eyebrows. Help them pop a little bit. Poppage going on. I really love this little trick. You know, you watch all these YouTube videos. Okay. 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 Um, next, I'm gonna put some primer on. I'm using Black Radius. I love this. Like, it's a little sticky, it's a little heavier than my 
a lot of other primers, but I think it helps the makeup stick. did a promo it's by Maybelline I did a promo with them and I ended up finding my shade and I loved it but I ended up loving it like it's it's a perfect light foundation um I wouldn't necessarily say it's buildable but hey okay, it gets the job done and it leaves you with like a more natural look instead of looking like you just pounded a bunch of makeup on your face. Had to pull my hair up, get my rollers out of my face. Ow! You all have to try this Master Conceal by Maybelline. It's awesome. I'm using Wet n Wild for my contour. This contour stick is very creamy. I love how it blends. And then I'm using some more Maybelline on top of my lip, below my lip, to get rid of some of the shadows. I don't want to look like I have a mustache. Not saying there's anything wrong with having a mustache if you're a female. I just prefer not to have one. So here I am blending, blending, blending. I'm going to put some setting powder by Sasha. It's Sasha's Buttercup setting powder. I had this for a while and I wasn't using it. Um, I was afraid of ingredients, but screw it. I bought it. I'm going to use it. Y'all, I highly recommend trying this wine. Most bourbon barrel wines tend to be a little too bourbony and have like a burn, but this one doesn't. This one truly is velvety. It's not super bold. I would say it's more of a smooth um, taste. It's not as full body as your typical Cabernet, uh, but that's fine. It is delicious. Try it.